In 1928, as a direct consequence of the Treaty of Turkmenchai between Russia and Iran, the Azerbaijani land was divided to southern and northern parts under the Iranian and Russian administrations accordingly. Nowadays, according to Azerbaijan resources and statistics, approximately there are 8 million Azerbaijan live in the northern Azerbaijan and 30 million in southern Azerbaijan. After collapse of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics in 1991, the northern Azerbaijan declared its independence and became Republic of Azerbaijan, whereas the southern Azerbaijan continued a different path and remained under the Iranian administration. Azerbaijanis had formed great emperors in the past and been in power for a long period of time in Iran. The fact the last Azerbaijani Shah, the young Ahmad Shah Qajar, was illegally removed by a low rank military serviceman called Riza Mirpanj, who declared himself as Riza Shah, the Shah of Iran, in April 1926. Later, he changed his surname to Pahlavi as a symbol of modernization process in Iran. Since he seized the power from Ahmad Shah Qajar, he committed himself to developing and advancing the Farsi language and culture, crushing other regional uh, languages and cultures such as Azerbaijanis, Arabs, Kurds, Turkmen and Baluchis in Iran. The Pahlavi Farsi regimes ruled the country until 1979 when Islamic revolution of Iran replaced them by another Farsi regime of religious and Islamic fundamentalist type. It has been 31 years since the Islamic regime came to power in Iran. Even though Pahlavi and Islamic regimes look different in appearance, both impose the same racist policies against Azerbaijanis and other non-Farsi nations in Iran. For the past 84 years, the southern Azerbaijan has been subjected to underdevelopment and terrible economical, political and cultural discriminations by the Iranian apartheid and farce oriented racist regimes. It has caused the widespread deprivation throughout the region and made people to abandon their farms in countryside and their homes in the cities, migrating to the first regions in search of jobs and better life despite the massive resources and powerful economical potential in southern Azerbaijan. According to the statistics by the Iranian government, the lives of more than 400,000 of out of 1.6 million population in Tabriz, the capital city of southern Azerbaijan, have been reduced to living in deplorable housing conditions. This is even worse in the in case of the other cities throughout southern Azerbaijan. The first oriented Iranian apartheid regime not only targets the wealth and economy of the southern Azerbaijan, but also is determined to criminalize, suppress and crush any cultural and peaceful political activity. Any attempts to gain some rights and any sign of self-expression, such as publishing papers, books, choosing names for children and business, setting up language, music and dance classes as an Azerbaijani are brutally dealt with by the regime. People are persecuted, imprisoned, dismissed from their jobs, and their properties are seized by the authorities, only for expressing themselves and voicing their opinions as Azerbaijani Turks. In addition, Azerbaijanis in Iran are being discriminated, humiliated, and uh, dehumanized by the state-sponsored media for 80 years. The most recent example, which caused widespread demonstrations throughout the cities in southern Azerbaijan, was the publication of an insulting cartoon in a nationwide newspaper, Iran, depicting Azerbaijan Turk as cockroaches who should be extermin exterminated by blocking their food source. During May 2006, the heavily armed anti-riot police uh, brutally crushed the mass demonstrations, killing tens, injuring hundreds, and arresting thousands of Azerbaijani protesters. Moreover, many of captives um, were horribly tortured to death in prison. The regional authority agents who carried out Ahmadinejad's order to crush the mass protests in southern Azerbaijan by any means were promoted and treated as heroes. 
In addition, and to add insult to injury, the opposition in Iran did their best to block and filter any news linking outside during two weeks of brutal oppression on Azerbaijani cities. Instead of giving support to human rights activists, the opposition tried to weaken the Azerbaijani human rights and civil movement by publishing lies and false news in the media. This in turn encouraged the Ahmadinejad's government to push for even more, even more brutality, terrorizing people by killing and scattering the bodies in and around the city. The Azerbaijanis in Iran were left in total isolation from spreading the news of their horror and reaching out of the, to the world media. We have gathered here today to highlight the plight of 30 million southern Azerbaijanis in Iran who are deprived of basic human rights and degraded to second-class citizens in their own motherland. We believe that it is the duty of freedom-loving and free nations of the world to support southern Azerbaijanis in Iran and help them to achieve the justice they deserve as humans. Our demands are one, the end to racist and chauvinistic policies of the Iranian apartheid in southern Azerbaijan. Two, the international support to reach southern Azerbaijanis to give them the strength and uh, continue fighting for equal rights. Three, Western countries and Sweden in particular to use their long-standing experiences in dealing with racist policies to prevent Iranian racism towards southern Azerbaijanis. The end to sexual discrimination against women in southern Azerbaijan. Five, the Iranian government agents who committed crime against humanity, killing tens of southern Azerbaijanis during the peaceful protest in May 2006, must be brought to justice. Six, the international support to prevent Iranian government agents from kidnapping and murdering southern Azerbaijani human rights activists. Seven, stop torturing the southern Azerbaijani political and human rights prisoners. They must be re released immediately and unconditionally. Eight, the international support to highlight the situation in securing the release of a South Azerbaijani journalist and human rights activist, Said Matimpur, who is suffering from a poor physical health condition in the event prison and is denied the right to access to doctors. The Iranian regime must be made to honor its commitment to the International Human Rights Treaties, Said Matimpur Defense Committee in Stockholm, May 2010. Teşekkür ederim.